Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Kareem Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me. This right here is Kareem in the morning. Okay, thank you so much for being here. At this time, I'm going to run my disclaimer. This channel and these videos are not meant for children under the age of 13. At this time, I'll run my warning. And welcome to my show. I'm Kareem Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. So guys, uh, I'm actually going to be talking about two stories on my show today, right here, right now. Uh, but first, uh, let me go ahead and pull up the background for my lovely people in the morning. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So look, listen. So I have some breaking news right here, right now. Uh, before uh, I move on to my story that I'm going to be talking about uh, probably for the, the moment of the segment is going to be about the young rapper who was killed, Young Dolph. I'm going to talk about him in a minute. That's a.k.a. Adolph. Thornton Jr. who was killed in Memphis. But before I go on, I want to talk about this breaking news right here, right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Julius Jones is scheduled to be executed today in Oklahoma. If the governor, okay, governor, I need Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitz to order clemency, order clemency for Julius Jones. Now, the reason why I, I say this on the show right here, right now, is because this brings me back to Brandon Bernard back in uh, uh, when I talked about, the, I think it was on uh, Radio 911, but I talked about it. I talked about how Kim Kardashian was uh, doing an advocate for him and how, you know, uh, they definitely, definitely, it did not work, okay? And they killed Brandon Bernard. But He's gone, and I'm sure uh, lessons learned from his execution and his case uh, spread lights to a lot of people, including this case right here, okay? The reason why I'm talking about this right here, and I should have saved it for Prison View Fridays, but I'm talking about it right now because I need Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitz to give me a call right now or and, 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 and say right now that you are going to grant clemency to Julius Jones. Now, the reason why I say this is because the parole board actually recommend that Julius Jones get a, 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 a commute, a death commute, and turn it into a life sentence. Why? Because his case has a lot of holes in it. There's a lot of holes in his case, and I'm pretty sure, and I really hope that we are able to save this man's life today okay julia jones now uh they're saying that back in 1999 and brandon bernard his case was 99 okay almost 20 years ago where a man was killed and they said that three days later they had apprehended julius jones and at that time the suspect 
say or description was a white shirt and a red bandana. But when they arrested Julia Jones in his home three days later, they found a red bandana. So they're saying the loopholes in it in, in, in that was the uh, the uh, testimony from his uh, his story, a whereabouts or where he was at was scrutinized. Uh, they're saying that the jury people who found this man guilty, they said that one of them had called him the N-word. And then you have lawyer problems. You have a whole lot of scrutiny problems that is happening right now in this man's case. This man, if you go into social media, this man, Julius Jones, uh, he made a final video of him uh, talking testimony to his family and to his peoples. And he said at the last moment, and I can tell you, listen, ladies and gentlemen, and, and you know those who... Who, who have feelings right here, when you have feelings right here, you know, okay, deep down, okay, the circumstances, only you, okay, you, like me, myself, and I, you only know the circumstances. And I tell you, I've heard stories, I've seen stories on YouTube, I've actually uh, read stories, not even video, and you can tell and feel the emotion from the, that, the, the content. And I felt now I, I when when I feel that moment, that's usually when I'm on YouTube and I'm listening to a song. And when I feel that feeling, I tear up. Damn it, I tear up. And when I tear up, I feel a, a connection in those words, and I can feel a connection in, in that beat, or I can feel a connection in that music. So when I heard this man's Julia Jones last testimony. He said that he did not do it, okay? I, don't, I wasn't there. I don't know the circumstances, but I can tell you that if there is one person to advocate, Kim Kardashian, where you at, bitch? Where you at, okay? This man needs, okay, the reform, the advocacy work that you provided for Brandon Bernard. He needs you right now, okay, to step up and show out along with other people who are advocating for him and i'm pretty sure that they are advocating at the last moment because this story is getting headlined uh across the country okay so yes he said that he did not do it and i felt that i felt it damn it i felt it i felt it and when you feel that emotion because you hear someone speaking and then even when he was talking he was crying and tearing up because this is probably this man's last testimony this man is about to die ladies and gentlemen they're about to kill this man execute this man in oklahoma if governor kevin stiltz, stiltz does not answer his phone if he does not answer his phone and provide clemency for this man it is going to be Lights out for this man, Julius Jones. This is going to be lights out for him today, right now. We need Governor Oklahoma to provide clemency and use the fact that the parole board recommend, they recommend you to do your part in turning this man's life into, and commuting this man's life into uh, a sentence, into a life sentence. You don't want to put this innocent man down because if you do, then there's going to be controversials. When, and then, mind you, governor, the governor is a Republican, okay? The governor is a Republican. And this guy uh, pretty much is on death row. And, you know, I don't know if he knows that he has this much time. I'm, probably, I'm pretty sure he does. And probably at the last moment call that they provided. But listen, damn it. Call my show right here, Clemens Kareem in the morning. Call me right now on the phone, bitch. I got the phone. It's somewhere. Call me, Governor. Call me, Governor Kevin Stitz of Oklahoma, and tell us that we need the clemency right here, right now. Okay? Or this man is going to die. There has been a lot of people on death row that have died and was innocent. 
there has been a lot of people who is on uh 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 in jail right now because they are innocent but they are guilty before proven innocent then you have a lot of people who have the whole dna problem and a whole you know recanting the stories from the eyewitnesses and you know the the, the jury people doing things like calling the defendant an n-word you know there's a lot of problems in this case governor and and we need you to call and grant that man clemency or they're going to kill him listen to me media now they're saying that hold on they're saying that the oklahoma pardon and parole board was voted three to one on november 1st to commute jones sentence to life in prison with the possibility of parole damn it they're saying the possibility of parole not without the possibility of parole they're saying with the possibility of parole I need governor of Oklahoma to call me right now, Kevin Stitz. Call me now. Call me now. Call me now. As the late Cleo would say, call me now. Call me now. Listen to me. Family, the family of Jones is praying that they do something. Ho, 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 ho. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Bring me up, bring me up, bring me up. I got the, I got the clearness. I got the, I got the clearness. Bring me up. Now I said something about Kim Kardashian. I'm reading something here. It says reality TV star Kim Kardashian, who has long advocated against Jones' death sentence. So I take my statement back when I was saying, wait, but. Listen, I know my girl doing her thing, man. She was doing it for Brandon Bernard. She was doing, she doing it for Jones. Okay. Against Jones' death sentence, right? They saying that actor Kerry Washington, uh, even professional athletes are even stepping in using voices and calling for governor to spare Jones' life. I was like, hey, one folks can not be that good. Okay. So yes, bitch, she has stepped up and moving out. Okay. Uh, let us not forget about the victim who was killed. Paul Howard, the late Paul Howard, was allegedly the man who was killed by Jones. Okay. And uh this happened allegedly, well, not allegedly Korean. This happened July 28, 1999, around 9 30 p.m. bitch. Okay. They saying that Howard, his adult sister, and his daughter pulled into his parents' driveway in his 1997 Subaru, according to court documents. Howard's sister told his daughter to gather their belongings and was exiting the vehicle when she heard gunshots. How sister glanced back, court documents say, and saw a black man, a black man. She saw a black man who she said was wearing jeans a white t-shirt and a black cap and a red bandana over his face. This is what it's saying. The shooter fired against again at Howell, sister and his daughter and ran into the house. Documents say Howard died. I hope I'm saying his name right. Howell died about 145 the next morning. Jones, 19, at the time was arrested on July 31st, the day after authorities found the murder weapon and the red bandana inside his family's home. Now, mind you, let me just go back. This is important, important, uh, this is important. This, this statement here is very important. Okay, I, I wanna read this statement again. She glanced back and saw a black man who, she said was wearing jeans, 
a t-shirt, black cap, and a red bandana over his face. I just want to, I just wanted to read that statement. Okay. So again, they uh, found the red bandana. They found him in his home. And then now they're saying that, uh, oh, there was a co-defendant. See, these stories always have co-defendants. Brandon Bernard had co-defendants. Okay. Co-defendants who were sentenced 30 years in prison after pleading guilty to first degree murder and conspiracy committed a robbery, uh, testified against Jones, who was con convicted and sentenced to death. Now, you know, and, and, and I'm going to hurry up with this story because I need to talk about the next story. But this this here, what, you know, when people turn on you and, and, and they have, uh, they, they, they be your, your, your best friend and the next thing you know, they be your worst enemy, tie into the next story. Okay, but listen, so then he turned the states on him. He turned the state on him, and Jones was convicted and sentenced to death. They're saying that there are conflict stories about the evidence in Julius Jones' case. Okay. And I'll just reiterate a little bit more. It's saying that the case has been marked by uh, the evidence. They're saying that the evidence is a question about the liability of the testimony of his co-defendant. That's one of them. Okay. The second is the alibi. The alibi Jones family said that he was home the night of the murder, according to his clemency petition. That's two. I want to go up to that, that other one. Okay, so now they're saying that the red bandana, which was found inside Jones' family home with the murder weapon, wrapped in it. The clemency petition state, cites several individuals who said that his co-defender, uh, I'm not going to say his name, admit to killing Hopa and hiding the weapon and bandana inside Jones' house. You know what? I, 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 opinion stressed on this show. You've seen the warning. You know what? I believe that he turned state on him and he tried to think he was going to get it out until you see here and testified against him. So he probably did. If it was anywhere where testimony is state that they were together, if he says this, if Jones says that they were together and they went to the house and then that was there, I mean, you got you gotta understand a couple of days, three days had went by before this man was apprehended. So, you know, a lot could have happened within that uh, 24, 42, and 72 hours. Okay. Well, 48 and 72 hours. Okay. So that's three. So it's the testimony, the alibi, and the uh that statement. Okay. Oh. Okay, so wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Fuck up. So his co-defendant was released from prison in 2014, bitch. Mm. Oh, Lord. Get this man off. Governor, I need you to call me right now, man. Call me now, please. Jordan was... He, oh, damn. I didn't... I, blah, 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 was released from prison 2014 according to the clemency petition. Okay? So, um, to maintain his position that his role in the death of the victim was accomplished by Julius Jones. Jones... Uh, so, he testified... Uh, in the jury that Jordan uh, denies confession to anyone. Okay, so now they're saying that I want to go to the part where they said about the jury was saying the N-word because that's what I heard in the video. Okay, well, if they didn't say it, whatever. There's a lot of problems and I, and I said that Kim Kardashian and a lot of other stars and a lot of other athletes are definitely, definitely stepping up to this story because they need the governor to call me down and definitely, definitely provide clemency.
Okay, so as I move on to this next story right here, right now, I want to say that the U.S., United States of America has lost another rapper due to gun violence, okay? We have now learned that young Dolph, real name Adolph Robert Thornton Jr., was shot and killed, was shot and killed on the 17th of November. He was fatally shot and killed on November the 17th, 2021, while picking up cookies for his mother at a local shop in Memphis. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I every time when stories like this break and I, I spoke about when Nipsey Hussle passed, when he was killed, I spoke about when Pop Smoke was killed, I spoke about when XXX Kentucky was killed. And, you know, there are way far other rappers that was shot and killed, such as our people and our boy Tupac Shakur, who was killed. Yes, Big L, who was killed. Let us not forget about the notorious B.I.G., Biggie, 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 can't you see? Sometimes your words, they hypnotize me, okay? We have uh, 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 Mac Dre who was killed, shot and killed. Uh, oh, let me not forget about my boy Zala. Where do we go from here? And you know I'm lost on the road with no speed limit a heart. Break collision is it? Don't pull me over. Yeah, so that's Dollar. Okay. Uh again, XXX Contestion. We have Nipsey Hustle, Pop Smoke, King Vaughn. Unbelievable. Now we just have added young Dolph to the 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 list of US rappers killed in the United States. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. They said that Young Dolph was definitely, definitely doing his thing before he was killed, okay? He, they said that this man, Young Dolph, was a philanthropist, giving back to the community. They said that he went back to his hometown and gave back to the school that he went to and graduated from. They said recently his most updated work, he was giving out turkeys to families in upcoming of Thanksgiving, and as he was going to get those cookies, uh, uh, someone killed him. Someone killed him in the cookie store. Now, remember how I told you how that first story tied into this story, like a little bit? Listen, when I said you have a person who will become your best friend just to follow you, know everything about you and then next thing you know want to turn on you and be your worst enemy somebody knew his itinerary they knew where he was going to be at and he killed them like nipsey hustle they knew where he was at and they killed him thank god they caught uh the person who killed him when xxx to test on when he was in that vehicle he just got he just left a motorcycle shop or a car shop or a car dealership and he was in that car with his friend and they opened fire on him. Uh King Vaughn. I don't know how he bought, I don't know how King Vaughn died, but they killed him. Okay, I know there was a um uh um uh uh, uh controversial about his death and then pop smoke. It's just so much that when you listen to these stories. It is always the person who you least expected. Now, I, I at some point I had read Gotti name in it, but I don't know. So I'm not gonna speak about it because you know they're saying that you know it could be a rival thing. Uh, 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 uh. Maybe he said, she said. Maybe people are not caring about you know, the followers, or maybe they are caring about the followers, maybe they are caring about, you know, their, uh, their, uh, 
their accounts or basically property, money, drugs. Yes, drugs. I mean, Freddie Watt, he was just in the news about uh, not too long ago where he was uh, arrested and there was money and drugs confiscated from an area around where he was at, allegedly. No, it was allegedly. He was there. You see it. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So again, young Dolph, young Dolph killed at the age of 36. Young. My God, young. Uh, th th there, uh, let me just um, give you guys some information on young Dolph and, you know, where he, um, where it stands at with him. Uh, they're saying that he, let me see, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. He had worked with some of the top, top artists. He had retiring rumors of top 10 solo albums, uh, charting singles, top 10. Let's see. The same year, Dolph said that he had been offered a 22 million label deal, which he turned down. But I could tell you that this man's legacy, this man's work will live on forever and ever and ever. And I want to say, uh, let's give prayers and condolences to his two children and also to his wife who will now have to raise her babies without their daddy. And they said that young dog was actually very strict on his children where he uh, definitely provided the uh, the work of what his grandmother provided to him. He's provided that to his children. You know, so we know that they're, you know, possibly raised up in a in a great home and 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 this man, you know, being a philanthropist and 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 an entrepreneur and, and a rapper and just doing and giving back to his community. I mean, I'm just saying they killed him. And it's always the ones that you least expect it. Seriously. So again, this is Kareem in the morning. And I wanted to talk about those two topics. I mean, I, again, I need governor of Oklahoma to give me a call. Kevin Stilts, I need you to give me a call right now. Call me now to grant clemency to Julius Jones, please. Okay, you've heard the testimonies. You've heard everything that uh, has been pre presented to you in the clemency petition. You've heard that there are superstars standing behind him. You heard about the things that are going on in this goddamn case. Okay? So do your job, Governor. Don't matter whether or not you're public, Democrat, independent. Don't matter. Okay? This is about laws and policies and procedures. Okay, you have that ultimate. Well, actually, God has the last word in this. But this man in the earthly form is going to die if you do not provide clemency for this man. Julius Jones. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and end this show right here, right now. I want to thank you guys so much for being here. Listen to me, guys. Uh, I don't really have a special um, uh, a special timing on how I'm going to do the show or uh, home, but for now, it's going to be on YouTube, Kareem Clemens on YouTube, and also on Facebook, all right? So guys, thank you so much. And again, let's have a moment of silence for Young Dolph right now. Let's have a moment of silence for him. Okay. Thank you guys for watching Kareem in the morning. I'll see you guys. And the next one. For more information, you guys can visit the blog page. Bye.